Okay, so this is a quick part two to the last video. In the last video, I showed off the PlayStation Legacy, what basically what it has, the features it has, and compared it to the PlayStation Classic, which was a little bit unfair. Because when I first bought this, and I got this for £36 brand new, I opened it in a video, and then in that video, ripped these out, like just basically unscrewed it and threw it away, because I was never going to turn it on, and why would I? Because um, this is clearly better. Here's the thing. It's a bit unfair, because I've never actually turned this thing on. So I don't know, focus up, there we go. Uh, I don't know what it does. Maybe it's better, I doubt it, but maybe it is. So what I'm gonna do is as a quick coder to that last video, I'm gonna run the PlayStation Classic first, because I've never seen it with my own eyes. I've seen videos of it, I've never seen it with my own eyes. Um, I'm gonna hook it up to my own TV, have a quick look, and then compare it to the legacy. Um, just its features and what it does. Obviously, I'm running the Classic through the DualShock, and the PlayStation, uh, no, sorry, I'm running the Legacy through the dual clock and the Classic I'm gonna run through, ooh, oh, here we go, the pad that came with it, um, which will also work on the Legacy, but there you go. So what I'm gonna do now is pause, hook it all up, and then run it, okay. Okay, so here we go, and like I say, in the interest of fairness, I'm gonna uh, test it now. All right, it's all hooked up, I'm gonna press the power button. Okay. That's a nice touch. Okay, what have we got? Alright, uh, English. Console buttons. Change virtual disks. Quit to the game and go to the home screen. Oh, that's what the reset button does, obviously. Okay. Uh, turn the console on and off. Got it. Photo sensitivity. Yeah, yeah, photo sensitivity. Oh, what about I just pick? Sony Computer Entertainment Europe. Did I just pick a game? I was in the... I was saying that I don't have epilepsy. Why Why am I playing a game? Okay, well, I guess I'm playing a game. That's uh, That's cool, I guess. Um, eight traveling fighters brought together by... Is this... Is this Toshinden? Yeah, okay. All right, I guess this is as good a place as any to start. Well, um, <clears throat> Legacy has Toshinden 3 on it. Let's pick Sophia. That doesn't sound bad. Oof. Yeah. This. Mm. Oof. Right, for a start, this is the European version. So it's running in 50 hertz, and it's. I didn't think I would be able to tell, but you totally can, because there are three... No, there are three? Two? There are three European games on the PlayStation Legacy because they didn't come out in the States. Um, there is definitely a 60 Hertz version of this. Okay, I think I've... Oh, Toshinden is not a good game. Why would you have Toshinden 1 on here when you've got Tekken 3? Anyway, this, um... Okay. Right, I'm going to find out what the reset button does. Let's have a quick look. Okay, takes us back here. This is what I thought we were going to start out with. Maybe I'll press the button. So, virtual memory card. Guide, sing. Okay. So, let's have a look at the games. Battle Arena to Shinden. Cool Borders 2. Destruction Derby is a good game, but 2 is better. Final Fantasy 7. I, full disclosure, I never played it. GTA, it's a weird, weird thing to put on there, but maybe they just want kids who like Grand Theft Auto. Karushi Final, uh, Jumping Flash is good. Metal Gear Solid, they had to have. Mr. Driller, why? Oddworld, yep, yeah, fair enough. Rayman, okay, sure. Resident Evil, no Resi 2. And it's the Director's Cut, which, yeah, it's got that weird music. Uh, Persona, fine, yeah, sure. Ridge 4, yep, yeah, absolutely. Puzzle Fighter 2, okay. Siphon Filter, I like, but I can't see many people liking that one. Tekken 3, sure, yep. Ra oh, God, Rainbow Six. Just a minute. All right, let's pick something that I'm infinitely familiar with. Um, probably... Oh, that's a bit slow starting. Um, although it is, a good, it is a good thing to look at. Let's just quickly look at 2. Let's look at... Um, oh, what should we look at? Let's look at Ridge 4 and Resident Evil. Why not? Now, I understand licensing. I understand why they couldn't put Tony Hawk's 2 on here. I understand why Gran Turismo isn't on here. 
I understand all of that. It would cost them way more um, <clears throat> to put those games on there purely because of the licensing. And it's not even like the car license. Oh, God, that's loud. It's not even the car licensing for um, uh, things like Gran Turismo. It's the Cardigan song in the soundtrack opening FMV. I'm, I'm highly... I'm of the opinion that if that Cardigan song wasn't in the opening FMV and could be torn out, they would just remove all the audio and put the game out. Um, I could be wrong, but there you go. Okay, so we have the new game, load game. Um, let's go to new game. Now, does the cheat still work? Where if you hold... Is it, yep, there you go. Cheat still works. So Resident Evil, Resident Evil 2, and Resident Evil 3 are all up on the PlayStation, the Sony PlayStation Store right now. So I'm kind of wondering... It's kind of a weird thing that they wouldn't put it on here, seeing as Resi 2 is one of the greatest games of all time. And if you're not going to put Tony Hawk's 2 on here because of licensing, why not Resi 2? Mm. Okay, Raccoon Forest, blah, 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 blah. This is also, even though it says Director's Cut, it's still heavily edited. Black and white, no gore, nothing. Um, on the PlayStation Legacy, the uh, let's just skip that. The PlayStation Legacy, the uh, I've got uh, a guy called Zorlon or Zoron made an actually uncut version, scaled it back and put the Japanese PC um, versions of those cutscenes back into the original PlayStation game. So it's all uncut, and that was hosted on Emu Paradise. Rest in peace. I'd be honest, I'm not. This has not aged well. There's no filtering. There's no upscaling. It just looks like a pixelated. Me You're not going to be able to pick it up on camera, but like this is the first time me seeing this, and it. I've seen this game a lot, and I've played through it on the um, on the Raspberry Pi, and it just looks. When you put on the bilinear filtering and you put on the upscaling. It just looks so good. Plus, there's a fast forward button. I can fast forward through all of this. Oh. Good Lord. It just, it feels and looks. Okay, you know what? I think this is all I need to see. It's, oh, actually get into play something. Yeah. I mean, you can just, look, oh my God, look at this. Pixelated polygon. Oh my god. Alright, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shut this down by pressing this button. Yeah, it just shuts off. Okay, cool. All right, I'm gonna pause and switch over. Okay, now for the sake of comparison, I've just hooked up the PlayStation Legacy. Um, it will obviously be played with the DualShock. Um, I'm gonna try and play the same games. I don't have Battle Arena to Shinden on there, but. Um, Judging by it, I've got Resident Evil 1, but I've got the, like I say, uncut, uncut version. So what I'm going to do is just press the power button, and you will see my little drive light flashing away. So the drive light um, flashes every time it accesses the SD card, so you know when it's working, you know when it's saving, you know what it's doing. All right, let's shut the curtain. So the PlayStation Legacy also has an intro boot sequence, and it's pretty much exactly the same, but um, the original one. There we go, the SCEA one. And where does it go straight to? Well, it goes straight to this screen. This screen, again, keeping with the ugly, ugly theme. Well, some would say ugly. No, everyone would say ugly. The ugly theme with the PlayStation 1. Um, you've got these multicolored paint spats that just scream 90s. Uh, you've got some box art. You've got a screenshot. And here I've built a number of players. So, if I scroll down... You also hear the uh, PlayStation tick noise. There you go. So every time you go down, you can see how many players it is. And you'll see that some are one player, some are two player, some are three player. And then you've got the multi-tap games, which are four player and above, even though I think that's a eight player. Um, so let's look at the games. We've got all of the games here, all in order. And uh, um, you can scroll down. You've got all of the classic, again, I understand licensing. I know why you can't have Tony Hawk's on there. I know why you can't have um, Gran Turismo on there. But Symphony of the Night, what? Why isn't that on there? 
Um, Crash Bandicoot, again, all of those are on there. Crash Team Racing, again, Croc, Destruction Derby is on the original, uh, on the classic, sorry, but this one's got Destruction Derby 2, and even the really bad Raw, Devil Dice, so on and so forth. So it's got a lot of games on there, just under 200 at the minute. Um, and some utter, utter classics. This is really celebrating the PlayStation. Um, the other thing that celebrates the PlayStation, other than the look, other than the intro screen, other than the paint splats and the, uh, the background, is that if you leave it for 10 minutes, it does this. So this is just a little VHS burn-in that I found, and it plays a video screensaver of 90s PlayStation ads, um, including, but not limited to, the Second Life advert. This advert is on Sony's YouTube channel right now. Why the hell is it not on the classic? This advert won awards. It's brilliant. Anyway, so it will play that, it will play the Saps ad, it will play the Crash Bandicoot ad, it will play all these 90s ads to get you all really nostalgic for the original PlayStation when you just leave it. Although you can turn it off or set it to any time you want. Um, or you can just have the, play, uh, the screensaver just cycle this here. Just cycle the box art and the... the, the Add uh, the marquee and the box art and the screenshots. Right, so let's get into a game. What did I play? I played Resident Evil 1, and it was a it was abhorrent. So this version is the uncut director's cut version. So let's just load that, and you'll see my little 8-bit PlayStation now loading. All right, let's put you on here. Like there. All right, let's have a quick look. Drive light still flashing away. So, how is this going to be different? Well, for a start, there's a fast forward button, so you don't have to listen to Chris was our old friend too, you know. And what else is different? Well, how about the fact that you see, rest in peace, Emu Paradise, thanks Nintendo. Your man here, Zorlon, has taken the Japanese uh uncut PC um uh, what do you call it, intro videos and cuts and whatnot and put them back into the PlayStation version, like downscaled them and put them in. All right, let's go new game. Let's turn on the cheats. There we go. Basically, if you hold right, you pick up double of everything, ink ribbons, uh, ammo, whatnot. So this is running in 1080p, 60 frames a second. It's got bilinear filtering on and it's got upscaling like another upscaling pass on it. Oh look, color. And it's all in English. It's it, For some reason it was shot in English. It wasn't shot in thing. Oh look, this scene isn't in the other one. This is cut out of the PlayStation Classic one. As is this. Huh, who knew? Your man Zorlon is doing the Lord's work here. So I'm not going to watch all of this, but you get the idea. It's in colour. The blood is red. Uh, it's got those scenes that were cut out. And even the PlayStation director's cut isn't the director's cut. This is the director's cut. All right. So let's skip that. They have escaped into the mansion. And then... You have to sit through some of the best stroke worst dialogue ever made. But let's say you don't want to do that. Just fast forward. You can just stop at any point. You can skip it again. The, the fast forward just ups the CPU cycles. So if you want to just skip loading screens or you just want to skip loading completely, just hold fast forward through the loading and it will just load faster. It's great. Here we go, and in. So this is where I was in the other game, but without any of that dialogue. And you can just tell, oh, fair enough, the background is essentially a bitmap, but just the character models and the way this thing looks, there's less jaggies, there's less everything. Like just to my naked eye, I can see this looks better. I hope this isn't Chris's blood. Right, let's just fast forward that. All right, let's go into this room. Again, you want to fast forward? You can fast forward. 
Just fast forward the door loading bits. Oh no. Is this Kenneth? Ah, oh, poor dude. Anyway, you get the idea. Now I'm just gonna press my button at the front. So that's me tapping the button on the front of the, uh, what would be the open door button, and it just goes back to emulation station. But like I say, I can program that button to do basically anything. Um, what else should we look at? Let's just look at one more game. Because um, that wasn't a very good, arguably not the best way to uh, show that thing off because of the fact that most of it is just a 2D image. Let's get a fully 3D game. Oh, I know. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. What was it? It was... Uh, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? That's the problem. We have so many games on here. Oh, and I've also got the translated version of um, Police Noughts. So Police Noughts Disc 1, Police Noughts Disc 2. It's the Japanese game but it's uh, translated into English. Uh, Ridge Race Type 4, there you go, Ridge Race Type 4. Um, all of the DualShock functions work. So if you wanna use a DualShock, you can. Again, if you wanna use a 360 controller, you can. Um, I highly recommend using the Nintendo Switch Pro controller. That thing is the most comfortable thing you will ever hold. But I mean, for the fact that I'm basically celebrating the PlayStation, I can't not use the original and this is an original dual shock. All right. So again, you can even fast forward these cutscenes as well if you want. All right. So let's skip all of that. Uh, let's just go into a quick. T yeah, why not? Let's just go into a time attack. So you'll just see the thing running. Again, this wasn't like a um, a big video. It was just kind of like saying, "Yeah, look, look what it does." Uh, yeah, sure. Let's just go. I am terrible at Ridge Racer. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's go. All right. So again, upscaled, filtering, everything on. This looks amazing for what it is. Where's the uh, where's the button? There we go. Ah. Yeah, for what it's doing, it's running at a solid 60. It looks nice. It's got... Fair enough, there are a few graphical glitches here and there, mostly with overlapping sprites. But it's nothing that makes any of the games unplayable. Like Castlevania will have a weird thing uh, where it flashes white when you go into the menu for the first time. You save it, load it, that's it. It'll never happen ever again. Uh, that's a power save around, power slide around here. So again, I'm just gonna quickly go back into the menu. And then I'm gonna hit the power button. And there we go, all done, all right. Peace.